Hey, it's Bill with Molly, Bill with Clevite, here today to answer none one of those questions I hear all the time when I'm out at the racetrack. Most of you know I spend a lot of weekends at the racetrack over the year and talk to a lot of engine builders and a lot of racers all over the U.S. And one of the things I often hear is sometimes even have a sample to show me, but one of the things I often hear is, man, Bill, I got a problem. My main bearing, it's almost always a main, doesn't have to be, but it's almost always a main. My main bearing's got a hole in it. It looks like someone took an EDM machine and burned the hole right down through the babbit. It went all the way down into the copper. I can't figure out what's going on. I think the bearing must be defective. That's usually what I hear, of course. But really, what's going on is quite simple. The bearing's not defective. A phenomenon is occurring in your engine when you're racing called cavitation. And cavitation, to explain it to you a little bit, is oil gets air mixed in with it. And of course, the crankshaft's whipping down through that oil, you know, and we're squirting it all over everywhere, and it's just, just normal that we're going to get air mixed in with the oil. Sometimes it's worse than others, but we get air mixed in with the oil. Air, or oxygen, or however you want to consider it, it's a gas, of course, so it can be compressed. Oil is a fluid, it cannot be compressed. So what happens when the engine fires, and the crankshaft shoving down, pushing hard on the lower main bearing, we squeeze those oil bubbles in the, uh, or excuse me, air bubbles in the oil, we squeeze them down until they're almost non-existent. But when we reverse directions then, and the load comes off the crankshaft, all of a sudden that tiny space that we had down there is now a void. We have a big space because the crankshaft relaxes, springs up, we have all kinds of room there. What happens now is the air bubbles have all this space to try to expand into. And when that occurs, what actually happens is not that the air bubble expands, it actually implodes. It collapses from the differential pressure. And when it implodes and collapses, it creates a little sonic shock wave. Hard to believe all this is going on in your engine, but it creates a little sonic shock wave, and that shock wave will fracture the babbit on the surface of the bearing, cause a little crack to occur. Well, we repeat this several thousand times over the course of how long you run those bearings, and one little crack intersects, another little crack intersects, another little crack, and pretty soon the material starts to fall off, and there's the hole that you see. I've seen them sometimes just like a pencil eraser in size, and I've also seen them as, as big around as a pea. So if you see those, it's cavitation. It's difficult to cure. Now, you can work on it. Uh, one thing you can do is talk to your oil supplier about an anti-foam additive, and maybe more anti-foam additive than you have now. The other is, if you've got a dry sump engine, uh, increase the size of the sump so the oil has more time to evacuate the air bubbles, let them get out of the oil. The other thing you can do is keep the clearances tighter. Sometimes this is not productive, depending on what kind of racing you're doing, but again, tighter clearance, less space for the air to expand and contract and implode, less chance for cavitation. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.